What's up guys? Welcome to Investing PH. In this video, we will be discussing DNL Industries. I will be showing you what their company is about, what products they produce, and we will also look at their financial statements. And at the end of this video, I will be showing you my buy price for this company. So again, if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. So first of all, what is DNL Industries? It was incorporated in July 27, 1971, primarily as the holding company for a group of companies with interest in the customization, development, and manufacturing of food ingredients, colorants, additives, and engineered polymers for plastics, aerosol products, as well as manufacturing of oleochemicals, resins, and powder coating. The companies they hold are, first, Oleofats has been around for more than 30 years, regarded as the market leader in specialty fats, oils, and ingredients. They offer products and services for the food service industry. To date, they regularly export to 18 different countries in Asia, Oceania, Europe, and America. Second, Coracode. Since 1982, it has been the leading power coating manufacturer in the Philippines, providing state-of-the-art high-quality color solutions to industrial and commercial manufacturers in the country. Next is Cameras Technologies, a leading manufacturer of resins, oleochemicals, and specialty products. Cameras Technologies was actually acquired by fellow DNL subsidiary Coracote, which was the company I mentioned a while ago, which operates the Philippines' first continuous process biodiesel plant. Fourth is DNL Polymer and Colors or DLPC, established in March 2006, is the newest member of DNL Group of Companies, an expert processing locator in Laguna. It provides the plastics industry with custom-designed and formulated dry colorants, color master batches, and additives and engineered polymers for a wide range of applications. DLPC has three business units, polymer color compounding, plastic compounds, plastic colors, and additives. Right now, they also serve different countries around the world. Fifth company is First in Colors Incorporated. Almost the same as the last company, also provides custom dry colorants, color master batches, additives, and engineered polymers. But this company continually invests in research and development to provide the local plastic industry with biodegradable and environment-friendly products. So for the environmentalists, FIC has developed a program that will make plastics environment-friendly by making them biodegradable. There are two FIC products that are now commercially available and sold to the plastic manufacturers, Biomate and Bioplast. Sixth is Aeropack the first company in the Philippines to supply aerosol cans and components and to introduce contract filling and compounding services. For more than 35 years, they offer services with a wide range of applications. Among them are insecticides, industrial maintaining chemicals, air fresheners, furniture polish, and personal care products. Well, now that was a mouthful of products for the companies they hold. Now, these are the long-standing customers of DNL. Imagine in here are one of the largest companies in the Philippines, especially in the food industries, Jollibee, McDo, KFC, Shakey's, and etc. They almost had a monopoly in the products they are selling by getting all of these giants as their customers. And not only that, their relationship lasted by more than decades. This just tells us that their customer really trusts the product they are distributing. Now we go further. Let's look at their financial statements. First of all, if any of you guys haven't yet watched my other video, in that video, I showed in detail my checklist for companies and where I get the data from. So I advise you guys to watch that first. Now let's start. First, their income statement. Both their gross profit, operating income, and net income are growing year by year, except for the year of 2019. This is not surprising. If we look at the events of 2019, that's when the conflict between the China and the USA begin. The trade war between these two giants affected their business. This is really important to know when you're holding a business. You have to ask yourself, will that major event affect the company permanently? That's why for me, this 2019 decline is only temporary. And also, I'm already assuming last 2020 will also show a decline because of the pandemic. 
Again, the pandemic is not going to last forever. That's why it's really important to look if the financials of the company is strong. So this is the division where they get their income. So 25% is in their food ingredients business, 40% in oleo chemicals, 25% in specialty products, and 13% in their aerosol business. Now let's look at their balance sheet. So total equity is growing year after year, even in 2019. Here I also look at the return of equity for the past 5 years. You can look this up in MSN Money in the analysis section. Return in equity gives us a preview of a company's ability to turn equity capital into net profit. Generally, what I want here is the ROE should be at least 15-20%. to 20%. And for DNL, their 5-year average sits around 18.19%. This is an addition for the previous checklist that I showed you in my last video. Now let's look at the cash flow. And this is what I really like about DNL. As you can see, there are some missing data from the free cash flow. So I completed those details for you guys. Again, as I told you in my last video, free cash flow is operating activities minus capital expenditures. Again, this is in the million guys, don't forget. Although their free cash flow fluctuates yearly, they never had a negative free cash at hand. And if we go back to the balance sheet, we can see their company has no long-term debt. And even if you use the free cash flow to pay for their current liabilities, it would only take them 2 years to pay for it. This is really important for me in a company. They really are handling debt well and they have cash in hand. As they say, Cash is king especially during troubled times. This means even if some problem arise, you know their company can pay off their debts. They won't run the risk of bankruptcy and this is what I want when I look for companies. I want to hold them for a long long time. And the free cash they have can be used to further expand their business. Next up is the PE ratio. Now in our checklist, we want 15 below. Right now, DNL has a PE ratio of 25.19. This is higher than what we want, so it's an X for our checklist. But you may want to think, will this company in the future grow and prosper to the years to come? Will their earning catch up to their price? So you should think as an investor if it's worth buying at this ratio. Next up is dividends. DNL pays dividends yearly. They actually increase their dividends year after year, except for 2020. Well, there was a lot of events that affected their earnings, like the China trade war and now the pandemic. Next is about the company's mode. They have a strong financials. Because as we looked at a while ago, they had been growing year after year. If not for some conflict that are out of their control, they are really handling that well. And for their brand, the company has almost monopolized their field of business here in our country. And they are even supplying other countries around the world. They have a well-diversified business. So for me, this company has a strong moat. Next on our list is the company governed by a good leader. Their CEO is Alvin D. Lau. So Alvin D. Lau, in his past career, he was president of Entrepreneurs Organization Philippines and member of De La Salle University. He received an undergraduate degree from the University of Western Australia and an MBA from MIT Sloan School of Management. He was named Best CEO in the Philippines in 2019 in which DNL was the only Philippine company to make it to the list and it ranked fourth, where President and CEO Alvin Lau was named as the best CEO in our country and was ranked second in ASEAN. So I think that's a great proof that the company is governed by a good leader. So this concludes our checklist in my last video. Another thing I would like to add in our checklist is the intrinsic value of the stock. Now, my computation for DNL's intrinsic value is around 10.6. It's high, right? But I'm not going to buy it up to that price. I want to have a margin of safety of at least 30 to 50% or 20% if I really like the company and its potential. So this margin of safety is important because even if the company's price goes down, you don't get a huge negative in your portfolio because you made a margin of safety for yourself. This means my max price in buying this company is around 6.9. I made a 35% margin of safety for myself. So if the price falls down 6.9, it's a buy signal for me. 
Now, I know some of you guys would be confused where I got my intrinsic value computation. I would show it to you guys in my future videos, how I compute for the intrinsic value of a company and why I really put a margin of safety every time I buy a company. So I got this idea to compute for the intrinsic value of a company from the greatest investor himself, which is Warren Buffett. As he said, let's invest in great companies that are trading at a fair price. So moving on, these are the results of our checklist. Right now, DNL is a really good company. Checked almost all of our lists. But since DNL is beyond the price that I want to buy it for, I would still wait. Maybe the price would go down to the price that I want. Right now, DNL occupies 9.71% of my portfolio. I've been buying it ever since it dropped last year when the pandemic started. Hopefully, I could buy more of this company in the future. But for now, I'll be patient to buy it at the right price that I want. So that's it for this video. I hope this helped you guys out. Again, don't just buy this stock just because of this video. Do your own research. Valuation for companies is different from each and every investor. My valuation of this company may be low or high for some of you guys. So again, thank you and see you in my next video.